Uh, here I have one of these little JK12 um, timer modules. This is a version 2. It's got 15th of January 2021 is the date on it, so there might have been a few different earlier models of these. But these can be bought off eBay or various places for around uh, $10, 10 maybe $15, somewhere around that. Um, basically what they do, they run off 12 volts, so we've got power coming in on this top pair of terminals. They're labelled plus or minus. A little red LED there to indicate that it's got 12 volts. Uh, there's also a pair of terminals here for the trigger input. I've got this connected to a momentary action switch. But um, you can use relay contacts and different things to come in and trigger that. Um, I've, we've got an output here. This is the relay. It's rated at 10 amps, 240 volts, and 125 volt AC, and 10 amps, 30 volt DC. Uh, we've got two sets of contacts on that. Normally open and normally closed. Normally closed is the same as always on, or normally on. And then when the relay, when this timer's running, it'll, it'll go off. So we can have a light that's on, and then we trigger the timer, and we can turn it off for so many seconds. And the alternative, which I'm currently connected to, I've got this little LED here. That's a normally open contact, so that's like normally off. So it's this will stay unlit until I trigger the timer, and then it'll light up for the amount of time I've set it to, and then it'll go out again. And we've got a little uh, seven-segment display here which shows what the time's set to. A little green light there to show that the relay's been triggered, that the, the timer's actually switching the load. Uh, I've also got this little trim pot here. That's just a little adjustment. We can put a screwdriver in, and we can just tweak that and it'll show on the display what time we got set. Um, we can also set it um, as seconds or minutes on here. So we have one to 99 seconds, one to 99 minutes. There's a little jumper link here on these, there's like three little pins, little header on the board there. I can show that. Three little pins and this little black piece that shorts either two. So when it's down on the left pin and the middle pin, that's set to seconds. And when it's on the, the other two, the right and the middle, it is set to minutes, which will show on this display. Okay, so I've, I've currently got this set up so that the positive that comes in 12 volts to power the thing also has this red jumper wire going to the common on the relay. So that'll get switched when it's normally closed or normally on. 12 volts will be coming out of that terminal. We've got our normally closed, which I've got my light currently hooked up to at the moment, this little LED. And that'll only come on while the timer's running, so it's normally off, but it'll go on. So you could, you don't have to hook this to the 12 volts, you could put 240 volts in there, anything completely unrelated to the rest of this board and the power for it. Um, you could also put an earth in there, so you can switch something to earth. Whatever we put in there, the output will get switched to. So if we've, say, got a light connected to the positive somewhere, we can put the negative wire in here and it'll switch uh, the negative side of the light to turn it on. In this case I've got it set up so that the positive is connected to the relay and either output will put out a positive. I've got my LED then hooked back to this black wire and limiting current limiting resistor back to earth. Uh, so we can, I'll hook this up to my 12 volt bench supply here because we've got to get 12 volts into the module to make it work. It'll show the time. Um, we can adjust that time anywhere from 1 to 99 seconds because I'm in the second mode at the moment put that on say 2 seconds and if I press this little switch it's just a momentary contact switch we'll see that we actually count down in tenths of seconds the light goes on for the period that little green light comes on as well you can hear the relay click so that's the normally open output normally off um, we can actually change that over to and we can make something go off for two seconds instead. So as soon as I put the light in here, it lights up. So it's normally closed or normally on. If I press this, it'll go off until the timer runs out of two seconds and then it'll come back on. So this is like a two second off timer, which is the normally closed contacts or normally on contacts. The timer basically does the opposite of what you're connected to. This is normally off. We hit it, two seconds on, and then it goes back to the off state. Now about the only other main option with this, I guess I should show you, we've got a little, this little jumper here, the minutes and seconds. I probably should just disconnect the power, I don't know if this thing minds if we do this, you just got to get your fingernails around this and 
or a small pair of pliers we'll move it to the right hand pin and middle pin and this will become minutes so if I press this we're basically set to two minutes and the light comes on and it should run for two minutes before turning off this actually counts down in ten, it's alright to count down in tenths of seconds but it counts down in tenths of minutes when it should be sixths of minutes so I guess every six seconds this is going to count down one unit here until we get right back to zero and then yeah our, our output will turn off a little green light on the board there will also turn off so it's a bit odd that it's counting down in tenths of second of you know, minutes but anyway either way it gives you a bit of an indication at least you can see when it's getting towards the end or when you're on a short time period you can actually see that the timer is actually working but I assume when we set it to like 10 minutes 20 minutes it probably just counts down every minute but once it gets down this lower lower end it seems to go down in tenths just to maybe make it more obvious what it's doing so it's going to take a little while to do this now the other option we can do with this is instead of having a switch here to trigger it we can actually join those two pins together and when we apply our 12 volts the actual timer will come on it'll count down the time that's set in it and then it'll go off and that's all it'll do until you remove the power and then when you repower it up it'll do the same and that's what I actually want this unit for I've actually got an alarm uh, beeper thing connected to something and I just want it to run for maybe 30 seconds when it's triggered and then regardless of what I do it'll just turn off after 30 seconds so I should have heard it well and truly heard it and then it will turn itself off I can go and reset the thing that actually puts the 12 volts into it so I just want like another alarm system to put out 12 volts trigger this it'll run for 30 seconds then it will shut up and I can go and reset everything that'll take the power back off this and it won't operate again until another alarm condition comes along at which stage it will it's flicking a bit because I haven't got the trim pot quite it's right on the edge of one and two minutes I guess but um, I'll set that so so when it gets triggered um, this this will be hardwired no need to push the switch or anything the 12 volts is what will trigger the timer as soon as power is applied it will run for 30 seconds then it will cut out regardless of what the input does and then once I reset the input so there's no power on it it'll just sit there and as soon as it gets power again it'll run the output another 30 seconds and then it'll shut off again and that way I've got a bit of an alarm to, to warn me that something's wrong but I don't have to listen to it for a long period of time otherwise it'll just come on and stay on forever so that's what I want this unit for so I'll put that back to to seconds because we don't want to wait two minutes and what I can do if I just disconnect one of these wires I guess from the switch and get rid of the switch we'll set this into the sort of automatic mode yeah I've got a bit of solder on there it's not going to go in the terminal block Hopefully that'll connect. And yeah, it's just like an automatic sort of timer. It doesn't need an external input. It's just the voltage coming into it is what triggers it. So when I turn this on, it should go on for two seconds. And then it will just turn off again. And it will just sit there. So the, the output's off. And then that this won't operate again. I might just up that a little higher. Give it nine seconds so normally it'll just be sitting there no power when it gets an alarm input that actually turns the thing on it'll run for nine seconds giving me a, an audible warning because I'll have a siren or a little beeper instead of this LED and then it just turns off and quit and the annoying sound goes away and then I'll go and reset whatever needs doing it'll lose power again and could sit there for months and then when it gets triggered again we'll get another 30 seconds I'll probably set it to a sound and it'll turn off so it's like an automatic timer then but you have to be able to switch the 12 volts so it depends what you've actually got to trigger this thing you can either have it powered up and it's triggered by a switch on those inputs or we can hardwire the inputs together and it's actually just triggered by the power coming onto it so you don't actually need it powered up at all it can just sit there doing nothing and as soon as you hook it up 
um, like if you've got like an alarm panel or something with like a strobe light output or something like that you can hook this up and as soon as it gets power um, you basically whatever you want to trigger is with you can just actually switch the power on instead of having to press a switch or anything have a momentary type contact and as soon as this gets power it'll just run for its time and then turn off so you can get it to trigger something for a certain period uh, rather than actually having momentary type inputs on it so it's quite a versatile little unit this and much cheaper than you can make something yourself for so like I say I'll probably end up just setting that for about 30 seconds which is quite a long time and I'll just have a 12 volt uh, beeper like a 1 kilohertz or whatever they are a uh, thing that just makes a, a tone so that when this gets powered up it'll run for 30 seconds and then that thing will shut up whether I can deal with it at the time or not and that'll save me the hassle of having something that keeps running and that should do the job quite nicely um, again you could you know have this trigger all sorts of different things set up you know any sort of you can actually like I say put 240 volts into this or 125 volts into the common either active or neutral whichever you like and hook a light up to this hook a heater up to it hook, hook up anything you want you could use this for like a um, some of the bathroom heaters and stuff people used to set them so they run like 10 minutes you press a switch to trigger it and the heater runs for 10 minutes and then when someone's left the bathroom it just shuts itself off again if they've left it on so it's the sort of use these things can be used for like when you want a temporary light or heater or something to run for a set amount of time and regardless of whether your kids or whatever forget to turn it off it'll turn itself off so they've got a lot of useful functions like that um, basically there's all sorts of different stuff you can set up with this you might want to press a button or apply power and it runs a solenoid to water your plants or something there's all sorts of different things we could use this for but anyway that's the general overview of how these work so thanks for watching